I thought Mitchell was brilliant from start to finish. And the punches he took and was still able to come back and take... Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue with gold, official weight, nine stone, eight pounds, four ounces. He's the former British Commonwealth champion and former British champion, former Intercontinental champion, the WBC silver belt champion from Dagenham, England, the WBC number one lightweight challenger in the world, the Hammer. Kevin Mighty Mitchell! And hiding across the ring out of the red corner, wearing black, trimmed with gold, officially weighing in at nine stone, eight pounds, and one ounce. An outstanding professional record. 38 victories, including 25 wins by knockout, with only three defeats. He's a three-time world champion, former featherweight and super featherweight world champion, the reigning, defending WBC lightweight champion of the world, Thomas y Caballeros, El Niño de Oro de Venezuela, Golden Boy, Jorge Linares. My commands at all time. Obey my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. God bless. Let's do it. Touch gloves. End of opponent. Uh, ah, good start. Is it hammer time? Go on the road. An intelligent there from Mitchell. Uh, nobody, including Kevin Mitchell, is suggesting oh, that Linares. Right. Suggesting Linares is another Estrada. Yeah, that is again. Zone. Take it away from him. That's clever stuff. Yeah, he's trying the right hand again. And getting. Took a little while to get going in this opening session. Point Mitchell really had done well. We had a couple of solid right hands. It's the speed of the right hand of Linares that worries me. And those were a couple of good... Conference ...in the week, he said he would come here and steal the show. Well, Mitchell, one of those left hooks. Looking to land... And ...he's been pushed back at the moment by Linares. Expected Mitchell maybe to be a bit more aggressive than he's been. Oh, a couple a of combination upstairs, and he does have these fast hands, Linares. Again, he saves it for later on the round. Oh, that's good stuff from Linares here at Mitchell. Taking the full force of lead. Continuing to fight, Parry look to draw the lead. Much more static, upright opponent. He could just pitch. doing? You get two guys who are really sure we'll see some of that. As this warms up, those single punches there, I think you're taking a chance against this guy. Good stuff there. And well, that should give Mitchell some confidence. He did land his camp. He's his lead trainer. To the body. On. And you can... Working things out there. I think Mitchell is working the range really well. And that's... You caught him with that one. Now he's finding it at the moment. Come on, Paul Linares. In the scalp. Was well, their heads together because heads came together and I felt Linares a feeling this cut on the scalp for Linares. Mitchell looks to get in there with a left hand. And the crowd enjoyed that. Got another one in coming. Got out of the way. Oh, good and body shot. Really Three weight world champion. And you look at Linares as Mitchell goes to work. A lot of upper body movement. Oh, oh, got him. The big breakthrough comes from Mitchell and Linares felt that. And Linares has a history of falling apart when he's hurt. He's up at eight. Victor Lachlan takes a look at him. But what an opportunity this is for Mitchell. Comes in with a left hook. The place goes crazy. Linares looking to try and regroup here. Mitchell loading up. Yeah, the legs look solid, but can Mitchell tag him again? Signs once again of the fragility of Jorge Linares and Mitchell looking to go to work again. Is he going to go for broke here? And the follow-up attack from Mitchell. So Mitchell knows he has the power to have a counter-puncher. You've got to put them together. And this has been a big round for him with a knockdown. But now look at Linares coming. Unable at the moment to build on that. Nice body shot. And as you say, Jim, Linares looks like he may have regrouped here. Yeah, his legs are looking strong again. But the main thing is a good attack from him. But Mitchell knows it. Now that was a terrific shot, solid. 
Here it comes. Boom! Terrific shot. Set it up with the right hand. Boom! He collapsed to the floor. Took his time getting back up again. I thought he was in real serious trouble, but he seemed to get his head cleared quickly. Took his time adjusting the gum shield there. Got himself up in plenty of time. But there you go. That's a left hook that really has been working well for Mitchell tonight. As well. So if these fellas go. Rounds the content to go. Terrific from Mitchell. on, but Mitchell. Starting to let some punches flow. Cut, big round for Mitchell. A terrific again from Mitchell. Yeah, nice the way he's putting punches together. That's really. Torres is the one who's having to force. Ah, oh, terrific. Okay, it was too easy for him, but he did exactly what he was told to do. Three in the shape of Kevin Mitchell, who again does a terrific job of making Linares miss. Linares boxing beautifully. I'll tell you, body language wise, this is the Kevin Mitchell we saw again. He's not coming his way if they land. Yeah, there's one. Have been squandered, but no, this is what we hoped for him. Right. Linares is forcing everything here. Mitchell blocked, terrific. Martez, he's got it under control again, Mitchell. But Linares is dead. More damage around the Mitchell eyes. But he caught eye was damaged earlier. Now the right's gone. Well, you hope it's not going to be stopped on cuts. So if it is Abs coming in from Linares, Mitchell looking a little bit. Yeah, well, a good body shot too. As Linares really starts to open up. This is a good spell for the champion. Mitchell needs a response. So I think Mitchell get his head clear, then respond. Back he comes anyway. Going to try and respond as we get down to the last 30 seconds again. And Mitchell. What happened in this round? A lot of facial damage. Tide just shifts. Then and Mitchell is the man that has to do something about that. You still get the sense that. Mitchell's got the job working hard. Uh, sometimes. Uh, good work. Needs a bit more of that. And he's not able to stop Linares in his tracks and missing there as well. And continue to miss, but a left hand got through. The left. Yeah, he's not allowing Linares to really set anything up. Now, this is a tough round to score, this one. But a tough. How do the judges see it? Round 10, three to go. He's still there, still a threat. Oh, good still right very hand. dangerous. Arrange, but now he's that little bit closer, and he's taken chance. He's the man looking to be the aggressor. Oh, got him with a big right hand, and Mitchell felt that, and he's in trouble. Covering up on the ropes. Lenares backs up, tries to measure him. Lance, terrific combinations. Mitchell needs to get a response here because Lenares is on top of him and bossing it. And this is dangerous times for Kevin Mitchell as Lenares lets the punches flow. Looking for the big opening here, Linares trying to measure him, and Mitchell comes back. And just listen to that reaction from the crowd. This is a dangerous range from Mitchell. This is a dangerous range. There comes he the right that, that right hand's got him as well. He's in trouble. He's in big trouble. Are the wheels coming off here for Kevin Mitchell? Linares looking to probe his way through. And this is knocking a lot of the stuffing. Out of Kevin Mitchell, and can not, he recover from around like this? And then the swelling on the left eye, oh, big it. left hand, but the, the swelling on the left eye is grotesque. He's an absolute mess. Blood from the nose, cuts on both eyes, under pressure. And Mitchell still comes back. And Linares now is on the receiving end. What an effort this from Mitchell, who digs his teeth, grits his teeth and digs in. This is terrific action, but we're seeing a couple of thinking fighters a few rounds ago. Two real warriors we have now, but this is a big round so far for Linares, a huge oh, round. Is, and he's got him again, and down he goes. It's been coming. He's up very slowly, 20 seconds left. They've got to get him back to that corner. He's got to get through this round, and it's waved off. Victor Lachlan has waved it off. Jorge Linares celebrates with his team Kevin Mitchell could not have put any more into that a referee could not have allowed that to continue could not have allowed that okay the original injury was caused by a clash of heads but the swelling on the side which worsened the cut was caused by punches but I tell you Kevin Mitchell goes out tonight covered in glory what an effort that was terrific performance terrific fight
and really it's sad that it should be stopped on injury. His face at Nick was a total mess, well, and it looked as though the fight had been taken away from him. And I think the referee, no question, no way he could have allowed that to continue. Terrific turnaround for Linares because he was struggling all the way, he was on the floor. He turned the fight round in the last couple of rounds. And that was a huge round for him, even without the knockdown. But listen to, listen to the ovation that this man is getting and thoroughly deserves. And all those people who said, oh, well, when the going gets tough, he falls apart. Well, that got rammed down some throats tonight. He put everything he had into this. And it's good to see the response from the Linares camp as well. They know how tough a night this was. I thought Mitchell was brilliant from start to finish. And the punches he took, and was still able to come back and take it away from Linares. And that last round was amazing. The courage he showed, the commitment, the concentration all the way through. No doubt that is one of the punches that caused the grotesque swelling on the side of the eye. But he showed everything that he asked for in a champion Absolutely. tonight. Kevin Mitchell, it's just a pity he will not go home as one. And, and but it's, it's not over. And it's such a sickener for him because he was ahead on two of the cards. The third card had it level. One, one of the cards had him up by six, which I think is a bit generous. Another by two. But Linares, we've seen it in the two previous rounds, Jimmy. He was coming on strong. He was building up something. And in the end, he just battered his way through. But boy, Mitchell did not go quietly. He did not quit. Now, as I say, Nick, I thought it was terrific all the way through, right from the start. From the knockdown, you're thinking he's the one with the power if we're going to see an early finish. And I tell you, look at the punishment for two. Well, we call them vulnerable at the start of the fight. Two vulnerable men. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll change our minds about that. But what a terrific fight that was from start to finish. We got the clever stuff early, the tactics. Then two warriors appeared and produced a terrific spectacle. It just wasn't to be for Kevin Mitchell tonight, was it? Despite that terrific effort. But Jorge Linares has come from behind to stop the Dagenham man and hang on to his WBC lightweight title. And the finish was ugly. And that swelling above the left eye, getting bigger and bigger, literally in front of our eyes. It was just horrific. When the nose went as well, that just made it even worse. And Victor Lachlan took one look and said, you know what, enough is enough. Such a shame for Mitchell. But I don't think that well, certainly wasn't a word of reproach from you, Jim. I very much doubt if any of our colleagues up in the studio will criticise Kevin Mitchell for anything tonight because he put everything he had into this and on the night it just wasn't quite enough. Ladies and gentlemen, the blood and the tears in this ring tell the story that we have just witnessed one of two great warriors fight their hearts out. A round of applause for challenger and champion at this time. It all comes to an end at two minutes, 57 seconds into round number 10, the winner by TKO victory, and still the reigning and defending world champion from Venezuela, Jorge Linares.